Hi, in this video of model deployment, we are going to talk about role of Docker and Kubernetes in the model deployment pipeline and lifecycle. While there are plenty of way of deploying model, uh, we are specifically going to uh, focus on Docker and Kubernetes. The reason is, is it makes model deployment simple and seamless, right? Uh, there are three key benefits uh, on using Docker and Kubernetes. The first one is reproducibility. So if you take a, if you take a typical uh, model pipeline, uh, basically you have a set of packages and dependencies uh, that are involved when you go with an open source libraries, right? If you take Python, you may be using NumPy, a particular version of NumPy, Pandas, a particular version of Pandas, and you may be using Matplotlib or even Seabone. There are multiple packages that you will be using. Uh, similarly, if you are installing scikit-learn or TensorFlow, it comes with its own set of dependencies. Now, once a data scientist trains a model, they need to tell a software engineer uh, to replicate the exact environment, the same libraries and version. So basically, it becomes a tedious task that needs to be documentation that needs to be passed on uh, to the deployment team. But with container, we can package the code as well as the dependency uh, into more kind of an uh, containerized uh, package and then ship it on to the software engineer team. So the software engineer team can uh, deploy it uh, seamlessly without any handholding from the data science team. It drastically bring down the time to deploy a model and time to generate insights. That that's one part of it. The second part, if you really see if you are if you are developing a model for your external customer. Right. You can uh, you after you are done with the model, you can or, or you are like productizing your AI model. So basically you can put everything in a container and then ship it to your customer and customer can just deploy it and get started rather than you sending a big installation instruction to the customer uh, to follow. Right. So the reproducibility in this case is pretty high and it is also cloud compatible. So basically you can uh, train your model on prem, uh, create a deployment on prem. And the same container can be deployed on any of the crowd, cloud managed services uh, like um, uh, Google Kubernetes Engine or Amazon uh, Kubernetes platform or even um, uh, Azure Kubernetes service. So all the managed service you just take the same container and deploy it or you can spin up your own instances on cloud to create a uh, Kubernetes cluster and then deploy it. So this is the first benefit that is reproducibility. The second part is scaling. Right. If you take a typical model, like if you take a banking customer and the uh, model is deployed in a banking business process, uh, the volume uh, of transactions that is coming in for scoring may be pretty high during the daytime, whereas the nighttime, uh, the transaction may drop. Or if you are in a retail place, the volume of customers that are visiting your store uh, may be pretty high during the weekend and maybe pretty uh, kind of normal during the weekday. So... In this scenario, you might want to scale up and scale down your model uh, instances so that it can act uh, or on the on the volume of data coming in. Now, Kubernetes is a, a pretty good container orchestration framework uh, that can take this particular container and you can scale up and scale down seamlessly uh, with few uh, few like uh, command line uh, controls that you can make uh, to tell. Okay, I want ten instance of uh, this uh, this particular model now, or doing on a normal day, I want to scale down to maybe five or six. Right, so scaling is the second part uh, that the second benefit uh, that Docker and Kubernetes bring in. Uh, the final one is uh, zero downtime deployment. Right, so basically there are there are kind of a lot of uh, cases where your model has to be running twenty four by seven by three sixty five. And uh, you may have a new version of the model that you want to update. You don't have a downtime. Uh, what Kubernetes inbuilt offers is basically a multiple deployment model like green, uh, blue and green deployment and canary deployment. So with this, what you can do is you have version one of the model, your model running in right production. You can just bring the version two of the model in parallel. And once your version two is up and running, you can just uh, switch the control customer incoming request or your uh, end user request to model two. So model two is live now. That is blue green deployment. Now, if something happens to model two, you are seeing in production it's not behaving properly. You can always easily switch back to model one, right? This is blue green deployment. Canary deployment it gives you even better control. Like rather than doing a complete A to B switch, you can say, okay, allocate eighty percent of my uh, volume to uh, model A and twenty percent to kind of model B. So basically, you can slowly increase the volume of model B until you are comfortable. 
So these are the key benefit of Docker and Kubernetes. One is reproducibility. Uh, second is like scalability. Third is zero downtime deployment and uh, basically recovery of the old model in case some, something goes wrong. Again, this is not the only way of deploying a model. There are multiple ways of deploying a model, but Docker and Kubernetes makes it easy makes it faster to deploy a model uh, so that the model is kind of up and running for you to action on uh, new transactions. Thank you.